and Aita last week accused the leadership of the North Central Development Commission, NEDC, of being corrupt. They then threatened to report the leadership of NEDC to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. If it does not respond to its frivolous allegations of mismanaging 146.1 billion, the amount in question is, comically, the entire budget of the Commission. The NEDC leadership supposedly has up till Wednesday, March 15, 2023, to respond, else it will be reported to EFCC. Ordinarily, the natural response is to press aside and ISA are shining examples of the emerging resolve of Nigerians to hold the government and its institutions at all levels accountable. But the Coalition for Transparency in Nigeria, CTN, decided on conducting routine due diligence before commending the two organizations. The group accused the NEDC leadership of mismanaging the sum of 146.1 billion being budgetary provisions made for it. It is absurd that they are not able to articulately pin down the amount within the context of budgetary and implementation processes. They can only result to these groups because the allegations of corruption in the agency are not existing. They are phantom lies in the imagination of these questionable elements. Sometimes there are years when there will be no budgetary provisions for an ongoing project which will then be temporarily suspended and then resumed in subsequent years when funds are provided. The list of so-called abandoned projects of NEDC drawn up by Patai and Isaac therefore breaks of ignorance and is totally lacking. To date, NEDC stands out as one of the most transparent agencies in the country and we attempted to rate it as the most transparent in the country until such a time that someone is able to bring up empirical evidence to prove that another agency has surpassed that record. Apparently, their strategy is to distract the rebuilding efforts being piloted by the NEDC so that the resulting hopelessness will again drive disadvantaged youth into becoming available for recruitment by Boko Haram from Iswa. We firmly hope that our intelligence community and law enforcement agencies will review this later angle with a view to asking the operators of Batai and Aika to prove that they are not on errands for Boko Haram from Iswa. We urge the leadership of NEDC to disregard the criminal ultimatum handed in by Patai and Aita in order to focus on their mandate of returning the Northeast to the commercial powerhouse it was before terrorism disrupted life there. We call on Patai and Aita to retrace their steps and stop their results to blackmail.